Hey everybody, what's up? Hey listen, check it out. It's St. Patty's Day 2013 and while most of you have either went partying last night or planning on going partying today, whatever, I get to go to work. But before I get to go to work, I get to do my weigh-ins and measurements and then do a little bit of yapping and yapping and talking about my video. So let's start it all out with the weight, shall we? Oh man, there's my shower. <laughs> Anyhow, let's do the weight. Or 199.6, that's better. So, well, so uh, yeah, that's where we're sitting at, and uh, let's go in and do the uh, rest of the video, shall we? and losses. Okay, sorry, that's just my little bit of St. Patrick's Day attempt at fun. We're now returning to your regularly scheduled program. Hey guys, Shane here. Uh, end of week three, down in the books. Um, been a pretty hard week for me. Uh, ever since last Saturday, I have had only one day off, and that was last night. And that was because I ended up in urgent care uh, due to a severe uh, ear infection um, due to having a head cold all week. <clears throat> so that was good times. Uh, I couldn't actually hear out of my left ear. Um, so got to go see a doctor and get some medication and I can still barely heal, hear. Um, but the week has been, aside from that, the week has been pretty strenuous. Uh, worked an 18 hour shift from Sunday to Monday, had about five hours of training on Tuesday, worked another 18 um, from Wednesday night to Thursday morning, had to go back to work Thursday evening, and went to work for 12, went back to work six hours later for another 18, had last night off, like I said, in the hospital, or not the hospital, but urgent care and getting medicine, and then we'll have to go back into work tonight. So that's my week in a wrap up, all the while dealing with the head cold and uh, whatnot. Aside from all of that, I was still able to pretty maintain, I was still able to maintain uh, the diet, exercising uh, for what I could. Um, the desire to go exercise was there, uh, the energy to go exercise was there, but the energy if we will, that doesn't make sense, I know, but the physical energy to go and do it, um, I had to really dig down deep. Uh, I ended up getting like three or four days of cardio in, um, <clears throat> did some cardio circuit, um, and by that I mean I did like 15 minutes on the treadmill and then went immediately to 15 minutes on the on a rowing machine and then immediately 15 minutes onto an elliptical and then another 15 to 20 minutes on uh, the uh, a stationary spin bike. <clears throat> so and I was pretty good after that, you know, pretty tore up and then uh, the, another session that I had, um, I did some a combination of HIT and um, low intensity cardio and uh, all the while still having a head cold and just not feeling my 100% self but I was still able to push through it and uh, I figured you know some exercise is better than no exercise and instead of feeling sorry for myself for being sick just went and did it anyways um, probably not the smartest thing um, in order for the recovery process to get over this head cold and obviously the lack of sleep uh, didn't really help out either. Uh, so that's in the nutshell my week. Um, it's been pretty strenuous for me. Um, but how, you know, the life of six, 
um, with my diet wise. Um, still, because I'm an anti-volumizer, um, I still have to, I'm working on having to remind myself to eat only because I'm not wanting to eat because I'm just not hungry. And so because of that, I'm not really doing myself a favor by not eating because I'm not helping to keep that metabolism going and spiked up. Um, my diet's been pretty good. Um, made some interesting new meals this week. Uh, one of them, uh, I did a chicken, a chicken sushi wrap uh, last week and I, we went in and changed it up a little bit and I put uh, turkey with it. So I'm just bland, bland, bland or plain ground turkey, 75-25 uh, turkey, um, a little bit of Mrs. Dash and some pepper and mixed it with some avocado, some brown rice, um, wasabi, sriracha or sriracha, however, however you want to pronounce it, um, hot sauce, some uh, carrots and green onions and it was pretty good. Um, I also added to my diet this week um, Pollock fish. Pretty damn good actually. Uh, it was really really tasty. The wife made it up for me. I uh, did a lemon pepper um, light butter version of it and then a light breaded version of it. And I have to admit it was pretty good. Got it for a steal. About a buck twenty-eight a filet. Um, so that was nice to change up the normal, you know, everyday foods that have meaning of chicken and turkey uh, mixed with my uh, almonds and my spinach and whatever else I'm eating consistently throughout the day, throughout the week. Um, workout regimens have been pretty much the same, pretty much on track. Um, Except for the endurance capability this week, mostly just because of being um, under the weather, you know, again with the head cold going on and then the ear infection coming around and lack of sleep. You know, I think I've been averaging um, about three to four hours, if I'm lucky, a day over the course of the last week. Uh, except for last night, um, because of me taking off work I ended up getting about 10 hours last night so that was pretty nice I'm pretty good for another week now that's about as much sleep as I get in about four or five days sometimes uh, work my overall attitude has still been skyrocketing um, maintaining a high sense of happiness um, a high sense of awareness you know um, and I'm not feeling that typical dieters, mundane, lethargic, hateful attitude that people have when they're dieting. You know, I'm sure for those of us who are participating in this challenge and have dieted one fad or after another, you've sometimes ex experienced that you know, I'm dieting, this sucks, I can't eat what I'm used to eating, you know, there's Susie over there having that, you know, double bacon, mac and cheese, whatever, um, Big Mac, or that Whopper, that double Whopper, or Johnny's over there having, you know, whatever he wants, and it smells so good, and here I am eating cardboard, kind of a mentality. I haven't had that you know, um, especially over the last three weeks, um, and I'm really thankful for not having that negative outlook on the diet. Um, really excited day in and day out, I get really excited about prepping my meals, you know, and about how good they're going to be. Uh, one thing that a lot of people for some reason think when you're dieting is it has to be bland, it has to taste like cardboard um, or wet paper and it doesn't, you know, I mean there's Mrs. Dash that company comes out with a lot of good seasonings that are very very caloric effective, you know, and they have really good taste to them. You just gotta spend the time and put in the time and effort to go look 
and read the labels and then try it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking down a lot of my paperwork because for one, I'm looking at again what needs to be in these videos and two, I'm lo looking at my tracking on my measurements and on my weight. Uh, weight, as you guys saw earlier, was 199.6. It's exactly nine pounds in three weeks since we started this. Am I happy with that? Yeah, I am actually. Um, you know, I'm only 22 pounds, 21 pounds away from what my goal was um, initially uh, to get back down to 177. My secondary goal is to actually hit down to 170. So with that, I'm only 29 pounds out. Um, and I'm pretty happy about that, you know, we, and we took my measurements and from the beginning of all this, I've lost four inches off of my chest, I've lost four inches off of my waist, I've lost an, a complete, a whole inch off of my hips, I've lost an inch and a half off of my thighs, and I've lost almost two complete inches off my arms uh, in three weeks. It's pretty damn good. I'm pretty proud of myself, you know. Um, And so, I really don't know what else I'd like to say, except I'm really focused. My focus for this upcoming week is to obviously take care of myself and get better health-wise, get over this head cold, get over this ear, in, ear infection, um, and just to keep hitting the cardio this week. The focus and the drive hasn't really left, you know, hasn't even left at all. Um, I'm still drinking plenty of water. I drink a, a, right around a gallon a day, um, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I'm just, I'm proud to, I guess one of the things that I wanted to say, is how honored and humbled I am to be amongst 12 other wonderful people who are doing such an amazing job at reaching their goals and are being effective and for themselves. And not only by because of their effectiveness for themselves, they are in essence, <laughs> sorry about that, my daughter just walked in front of me. Um, not only because they're being effective for themselves, but they're affecting me. Each and every one of you are such an amazing and wonderful um, contribution to this initial challenge that Nutrex has put out. And to see the excitement that each and every one of you post about and the questions that you guys have, you know, one of the things that I've tried to convey to people um, with those that I've helped in the past is the only stupid question is the question that's never asked you know and I know me personally when I was getting into this whole fitness thing and doing and preparing for the things that I've done over the last three years of my life I've asked questions I was afraid to ask questions at times because I was always afraid as a heavy person to ask those fitness questions for fear of being ridiculed or to be condescended upon um, for not knowing. It's so easy to learn and to become subject matter experts, if you will, at something. And it's a whole lot easier to forget that we at one time didn't know ourselves. And I'm so proud of every one of you who don't know to ask those questions and to learn and to better yourselves and to want to gain that knowledge. And I would just hope and admonish each and every one of you who are watching this to actually share that wealth of information to those who need it as well and help them better their lives. I know that each and every one of you are doing a phenomenal job, a fantastic job, and you are being a role model to somebody believe me, to somebody in your net of social media friends 
or your work group friends or whatever. There's people watching and they're no taking notice of your successes and of your achievements. And they may not say it to you, but quietly you're inspiring other people. So to each and every one of you, keep up the great work. You know, um, I'm just so thankful that we have this opportunity to be a part of this challenge and especially with, you know, John and David helping us out and being a part of it and actually giving up their time and compiling the data, you know, and taking notes and, you know, helping us out with the overall um, successes that each and every one of us are having and bringing up <laughs> subjects that are rather interesting and way out in left field, but nonetheless uh, giving us thoughts to, or things to think about that are different than what is the normal, I guess, John. So anyhow, keep up the great work this week, guys. It's week four. We're getting ready to hit up into phase two here soon. Um, new things are going to be happening. And uh, I just really admonish each and every one of you to not give up, not give in, and to keep pushing yourselves, you know, and figure out what's what and do it. Take everything that people give you, make it yours, and just run with it. Just run like the wind, you know, and capitalize on it and figure out. And if each and every one of you come up with something that's new or interesting, you know, bring it up to mention, you know, if it's a new recipe, it's a, if it's a new type of cardio, or, or if it's a new hand position. Um, I know when I start um, working out with the weights, I'm going to bring in a, a tool that I use that has helped me immensely um, to grow in size and also to get stronger. Um, but I'm not going to talk about those just yet. Wait until we start doing the weights. Uh, but other than that, no, it's been a good week. I'm pretty excited. Um, <clears throat> and uh, sorry about all the coughing and the sniffling and whatever. Uh, I hope you will, each and every one of you will forgive me for that. Uh, again, Shane Owen signing out week three. Talk to you all later. Bye. Uh, Daddy, I was in here doing my work when you were talking.